What's up, guys? Brett Okamoto from ESPN. I'm very excited about this interview today. It is with UFC middleweight Paulo Borrachino Costa, along with his manager, Walid Ishmael, who is going to uh, translate for us, if necessary, accurately, right? Walid, you're always you don't need. We speak English better than me now. But uh, if you have some words, we are together. <laughs> my English is not, it's not 100% yet, but I'm trying and doing my best. But no, I, man, I, yeah. I, I promise doing my best to to make the most people understand what I want to, to say here. Of Thank course, you, man, for the opportunity. I've I've interviewed I've, I have interviewed you before in English. You've always done a spectacular job, so I expect nothing less from today. But first off, before we get to it, tell me where you're coming to us from, because this seems like a like a pretty interesting uh, interesting place that you're doing this interview from. Yeah, I rent this place here on Rio de Janeiro. But you live here in Rio de Janeiro. I'm from Belo Horizonte. It's another state, but uh, yeah, this is a very fun house. You know uh, this. Thematic is com completely different that I, I haven't seen ever, but I, I feel good here. Yeah, yeah, feel good. And uh, you, know, you said that you were excited to, to do this interview. I believe, is this the first interview that you've done really since the championship fight? The, the, the title shot? Yes. Yeah. yeah. After the title shot, yeah. The, the first one with you. How, how come, Paulo? Why, why, why have you been so quiet since then? Man, you know, was a, a very... Uh, I think I take a, a, I took a, a time yeah. to myself, you know, to to understand what happened and uh, to think about my my next step and my my all things that happened with me after that that fight, you know, was not good fight to me, you know, but I learned a lot and uh, I never I never give up, you know. I think when you the when you do some step back, you need to uh, reorganize yourself, your mind, and put all things together and fix some things you need to fix to to keep going forward. When you say that you needed to take some time to yourself to think about those things, can you be a little more specific? Like, what did you really need to? To work through in your own mind after that. Yes, because after you need to be patient and understand that uh, the people say negative things about you. It's not compared normal. I understand the fans, but uh, it's a, a different way that I, I have been working onto that fight. You know, I I say before bad things happen the, the night before the fight. But not is not excuse. I decide to fight. I knew what kind of condition I I had, you know, before the fight. But mm -hmm. I decide to fight. So I took my all the responsibility to me, and uh, I need to handle with all these guys and you know crazy things about my my person or about me like a, a fighter and I, I need to I need to take a, 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 a break. A, I need it to, to take a, a, a little break. Paula what what happened the night before you fought Israel Adesanya? Yes man um, you know I made a very deep uh, dehydration you know dehydration from the weight cut, but yes, the weight cut. No, yes, I my my, my weight cut was very very uh, hard, but always is hard. The problem is there in Abu Dhabi. The fight happened at morning, not at night. So you 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 get one night more, you know. Mm. Uh, and uh, what happened is after weight cut. I recovered very well my my weight, but I trained so hard. I was so confident, so confident that I trained so hard. So I trained more than was recommended to, to train, you know, after weight cut. Hmm. And uh, I think this make a lot of problems on, on my body. I, uh, I, I had a lot of cramps. I had 
a lot of problems through sleep, you know. Uh, was a, foi uma consequência de fatores, foi uma série de fatores. It was many things, not was not one problem. One problem. I'm gonna tell you what I see. Eu posso falar o que eu falei yes. para você? I'm gonna tell, because one day, when he cut the weight, he came back very strong. But he trained so hard, and I told him, you can ask him, hey, Paulo, you crazy, you is like eight hours, 12 hours for your fight. Why you train so hard? He said, Paulo, I feel very good. Mm -hmm. And on the night, I call to his room, say, hey, the doctor is here. No, somebody comes say, the doctor is in the Paulo room. This is the UFC know that. The mm -hmm. doctor was in the Paulo's room at 11 p.m. He with cramp. I say, oh my goodness. But he can go on. He can go on. Yeah, uh, I, I think the training was the, 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 the main cow, cause of oh, my God. cramps. And uh, man, I, I could not walk the night before the fight. And I, I knew was not was not the the good conditions to fight, you know, to do uh, some athlete competition on high level mm -hmm. because I was on bad conditions. You know, I could, I could not walk at night, but I call Valid, Valid, uh, Charles, call Charles from SPI, Herder, the great physiotherapist. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had my Okay. My my doc my 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 all physiotherapist my né? personal my personal physiotherapist on, on the same room also they did massage they did uh, what what they they called to to try recover my 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 boy you know my my bad condition you always train after no away no no you no. just did it because because you were you were feeling so good no it's, it's, yes this is one of uh, the, uh, one reason that's that's why I, I train uh before the fight but I train I train before the fight because we have more time you know uh from the way cut to the fight mm -hmm. it's like a the, in Abu Dhabi was like a 12 hours 12 or more hours to recover mm -hmm. on Vegas in the normal condition I don't yeah. train it because you have just 10, uh, how many? 30 hours. Yeah, because in Vegas, he, he make the weight in 9 to 11 a.m. In Vegas, it's menos. No, it's more time to recover. In Vegas, you have less time to recover. In Abu Dhabi, I had more time to recover. So I decided to train, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, in Abu Dhabi, we, we cut at Friday and I fight at Sunday morning. Oh, okay. In Vegas, you, you wake yeah. up this at Friday night, right. and, it, and you fight at Saturday night. So right. 24 hours. So then, at, at least, yeah. And uh, I took on supplement with a lot. Um, make, uh, make uh, no, not a Gingibre. Ginger. Yes. Ginger. Mm -hmm. ginger I, I took ginger to, to try to my 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 cramps. And that ginger, not, <laughs> you know, put my 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 sleep on trouble. I could not as fallen asleep, and I tried wine was my 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 last <laughs> my last source, you know, I, I, because I thought, man, I need to sleep because I will fight like eight p.m. eight a.m. at at uh, Sunday morning. But I need to sleep a little bit. The guys will come from my room at five or six, and I need to sleep at least four or five hours. But I cold. The ginger cramps. The uh, uh, I was worried about how these things happen, but I was. I was decided. I was. He was the side. I was decided to fight. Don't care. You know, I, I will not. Let this, this fight uh, fall. fall out. And 
what did your team think about like, whose idea was it to to try wine and what what would ever, what would everyone think oh, you about mean, that? Oh, you mean, oh, you mean, because after the guy, the physiotherapist, uh, step out, step yeah. out the, of my room, I went to my bed, but I couldn't fall asleep. So I tried before melatonin, not do, do, do not work. I I tried as uh, Zequil, you know, Zequil to try. It do not work and I had wine so I think I will try wine because I need to sleep a little bit you know did but anyone know besides you that you took the wine or you did no. it on your own it was just me just me on the room where'd you get it from huh where did you get the wine where did it come from man sometimes I I use one one cup of of wine when I I feel a lot uh stress mm. and it's helping me a little bit but just one cup and when i have time to put uh, out of my, of my body the alcohol you know mm. but there was so so late too late to 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 but i was desperate to to fall on sleep this is an interesting story because we never heard this before yeah. about a guy drinking wine the night before a title fight. Um, it's just an incredible story. And, um, you know, I guess the one thing that I would have, do you have any regret about telling people? Do you wish that you just wouldn't have told anybody because of the way that they've reacted to it? Okay, I think it's fine for me. No, never. The man. <laughs> I, have, I have no problem with that. The, the day the winner worry about Another people say about him, he need to kill himself. You know what I mean? Doesn't matter what the guys talk about him. He knows who he is. I know his team knows. You know what I mean? When he's going to prove on October 23rd, mm -hmm. this is going to share up everybody. Mm -hmm. This I have no doubt about. I saw how he trained. I'm in this business for more than 40 years. Mm -hmm. And I know when the guys focus and have the determination. And he has. He just need to balance the train. Can nobody train like him? Hey, Paulo. Now, what would mean more, winning the UFC championship or beating Israel Adesanya? What would mean more to you? My favorite here, ganhando de Sanya, ser campeão de Sanya. Man, no. Uh, mm, you know, the, the two things are on my is my. Uh, I, I it's not my no destiny, man. <laughs> It's my destiny. <laughs> like it's on his. These two things are on my plane, you know, beat him and take the belt. Mm -hmm. I think the belt will be uh, naturally will happen. But uh, beat him, if he's still with the, the belt, will be soon and not, so, not too late. Do you have to fight him again at some point? Like, is that something that has to happen in your mind? I, I need I need to fight him again. I need to fight him. Ever kill. And he knows. He knows. He knows who, who is the the guy to to beat him. Do you think if it wasn't for your feelings towards him and the fact that you want to fight him again so badly, was there a chance that you would have moved up to 205? Sorry. No, no, no. Are you staying at 185 for Israel? Uh -huh. No, no. I, I was still on 185 until I get the belt. Yeah. It's, it's not about that. Yeah. I will get the belt. If he moves, I will still here uh, until get that belt. I, on my mind, that, girl, that, that belt is mine and will be mine and nobody can stop me. Okay, one last thing before we get to Marvin. I would just like to know what it was like for you to be in that fight then. For you to be in that fight after what you had gone through the night before, because, you know, a lot of us watched that fight and we did say, like, that's, that doesn't look like Paulo Costa. That doesn't look like the guy who had made it to the title fight. He's fighting in a completely different way. What was it like being in the locker room? Kind of know, like, what, how were you feeling? And what was it like being in that fight? Yeah, that's right. That's right. It's not to look like a Paulo Costa fighting, right? Uh, I was a pike. I was... Uh, sonolento was the sleepy. Like, I was like uh, one day before the the the, the, the boat. Yeah, like it was one day after the party. 
you know. Uh, mm -hmm. But I could say, no, I will not fight. The fight is, will be canceled because I'm not fine. But I decide to fight because I believe in myself more than believing him, on him. I, I believe too much in myself that I, I thought I can beat him even after a bottle of wine on my mind, you know? <laughs> but he won. And, uh, you know, I, I, what, what I could say, he won, okay, congratulations, but I will fight him again if he is still on 185 with the belt. I will fight him again, but sober. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> What are you? Uh, what 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 gets you excited about this fight with Marvin Vittori? Oh, it'll be a nice fight. Nice fight to to prove to everybody who who can beat Adesanya next. Mm, you think you look at it that way? You win this fight and then you have a title shot right away. I think so. Yeah. Because I, I I'm not playing just beat uh, Marvin Vittori on five rounds by. You know, let, let the decision for the judge. No, no, no. I want to finish the fight very quickly. The first or the second round, not more than. Mm -hmm. Do you give, uh, do you, are you giving Robert Whitaker a chance in that rematch, or do you think Israel will hold on the belt? Yeah, uh, yeah you know, I, 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 I am not uh, injust to make fun. Unfair. I think Robert, he, he, made, he made his way to the, the tire shot. I can wait for him after him. Okay. I got two more things to ask you about, Paula. One is your hair. Uh, the, 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 Twitter was very interested in, and they saw photos of your hair, a transplant of some sort. Can you yeah. what, what, what happened with your hair? I, I, I make, I made a transplant hair, you know, yeah. you can move some, some part of your hair here, back and put some, Put some, some hair <laughs> on, <laughs> where you need to. It to take off three days. How many days it take yeah, off? Yeah, three days, and and I was back on on the work. <laughs> How come, man? But yeah, I hope, I hope, I hope on the, the day of the fight. But he continued ball. The yeah. doctor was ball. I never see that. In I my life. <laughs> no, <laughs> you go to the doctor is a ball. <laughs> I hope when I fight Marvin Vitoy, my my hair will be best than now beautiful than now <laughs> and you're happy with it you're, you're happy with the way the procedure went you think the hair looks better now sorry yeah, you know it, i am i am on, uh, still on process you know it just takes some time like a one year to, to, to take 100 percent. but i have two months on it but you know okay. you want to be a model okay. hey brad you want to be a model brad well, no, I mean, he's a warrior and modeling. <laughs> I'm happy because I don't need to to care about to you know to do something or put gel or come from the home up in chair. He don't wanna like dressing up. Yeah, yeah, just put the shirt, the, the legs, and go training and well, come back. I, this I hope, is more. I hope by the time the fight comes, the hair looks exactly how you want. Usually, I say like good luck in fight camp, but this time I'll say good luck with the hair. And Paulo, the last, <laughs> last, the last, this is bad. Bad to go up, beat you up, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, what, one last thing to ask you about, and I think it's good that you're here, Walid, as well. Um, Paulo, you 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 went on online and you you said some things about your UFC contract. Can you just tell us how you feel about your UFC contract and how you feel about pay in, in, in mixed martial arts in general? I am so focused on on this next fight. Uh, to prove also for everybody who I am. I was on on the very good way to, to transform my career very quickly, but I I did some step back after my tire fight. And uh, now it's time to, to take the time that I, I have lost you know this is time to change everything and to i i think, i thought i i think then right in the ufc knows my my value already Potential he knows files. how many how many uh pay-per-views or whatever i can sell 
and I can engage the defense with my fights. And this will be a great opportunity to, to put my, my piece on the, on the table, you know, on the game, on the chess. Because I'm going to talk now about that. Yeah. We, we have the conversation, you know what I mean? Paulo is going to be like, he deserves everything he won. Because he focused, he has determination, he got charismatic fighter. He talked to the two, you know, like you ask him, hey, you talk about wine. You know, he's a man. He don't care what people say about him. He, he tells the people what happened. How much, he, when he's going to fight, he, he has the desire of a warrior. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I told him, and he knows that. He told me too, my focus now is the fight. When you talk about money, this take the focus out. We don't talk about money. Mm-hmm. Because one thing you can be sure, UFC support you when you submit or knock out people. This, that's it. You know what I mean? People say about the noise, this or that, but if you go there now, I told him, if destroy the Tory, we're gonna sit with the boss because he care who knock out and submit people. There's no doubt about it. Believe me, I found this business before it's a business, before it's a sport. And like, you know what I mean? He focused to the fight. He's gonna destroy the story. What I told you, I tell him, he told me yesterday, if you go to the history, his Instagram or my Instagram, he said, everything or nothing. You know what I mean? Brandon, mm-hmm. come on. Everything or nothing, October 23. We cannot talk about money right now. Mm-hmm. You need to destroy the toy. This we're gonna talk. We're gonna come back. The most important, share up, share up. Everybody talk bad things about <laughs> him because one day of work, the people so bad. You know what I mean? I don't care who is against because the people forgot the 13 fight. He submit and knock out people because one fight, everybody have one one bad day. But now he's going to prove who he is. And for sure, the boss is going to be very happy because he knocked out Vettori. You imagine how much you're going to say at the Sunny and the Paulus too? How much you think you're going to sell? I believe it would do very well. I do. Mm-hmm. Very well. It's going to be all the record because, you know what I mean, what the Sunny did in the end of the last fight is very strange. Yeah. Very, very strange. You know, even I like it. Today, I, even, I look at the same, I like him because he's a strange guy. You know what I mean? But the focus now is Ventor. You don't, he don't think about nothing. Even I told him today, hey, man, relax. We are in practice. Nobody trained like him. All right, Paulo, well, let's end it on this then. <laughs> Tell me what is going to happen on October 23rd. What are you going to do to Marvin Ventor? Man, I think about myself like... Uh, I'm like a gambler, you know, when go to the casino and put all, all in, always. This is the kind of fight that, that I am. I go with all in, always. I am put my life on this sport for a long time ago. And I'm not here to be part. I'm here to take over. Megarek say that. I like that. Uh, we will be... A wild, wild fight. Wild, wild. You understand? Mm-hmm. Savage. Everybody will see the the the, the old Savage Paulo Costa going forward and so aggressive and sober. <laughs> and everything or nothing. This is the best word he did. When he said that yesterday, I love it because MMA is like a war. Mm-hmm. If you have a you afraid to die, not go to war. And he is not afraid, man. Because this I talk, you see, I don't talk this about a lot of people. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But when I saw somebody have the desire and have the talent, this fight is the fight of his life. That's it. Oh, man. I'm October excited 23rd. See. I'm excited to and see the Hunter, I want to see Hunter there. All, all, the... Done right. all the guys, because, mm-hmm. you know, these guys are very important. Yep. You know what I mean? This guy's always very important to me. I talk, we talk, 
we talk I talk to Paul. This guy, when you do good, you knock out people to be me. That guy give you the vial. Yeah. Give what, what you they, deserve. That's what they love in this sport, man. So I'm looking forward to the fight October 23rd. I, I, I appreciate you guys talking to me very much. I'm looking forward to the aggressive, sober, and with the best player in the UFC, Paulo Costa, <laughs> taking on Marvin Vittori. On so very long hair, everything great, everything okay, and uh, not, nothing will be Costa, we know. on the way to, to make a but great you fight. you say what to say, tell me yesterday, what to tell me yesterday, but everything? Everything or nothing, always. Everything or nothing. Always. Everything or nothing, October 23rd. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you, brother. Enjoy Appreciate Rio. You, we will see you in Las Vegas in a couple months, Paulo. Thank you. Yes. Yes, sure. man. God bless you. God bless us. Take care, guys. Thank you, Take care, brother. Thank you, brother.